Problem number 28. The hemoglobin count in grams per 100 milliliters of whole blood is approximately normal. The average for healthy adult women is 14. Suppose that a female patient has taken 10 laboratory tests during the past year. The HC data sent to the patient's doctor are, so these are her results. At the 1% significance level, that's going to be our alpha, do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean HC for this patient is higher than 14? So this is a hypothesis test for a single mean. So the very first step is to set up the null and alternative hypotheses. So in this case, we want to see if the mean is higher than 14. So mu greater than 14, that will be h1. And then h sub 0 is always equals, so mu equals 14. Steps 2 and 3 are done entirely in StatCrunch. So in this problem, you just take all these numbers and you type them in. Also, we're going to use t-statistics to do this problem because they don't give us the population standard deviation. They just give us data, so we're going to use t. Remember, if they give you the population standard deviation, you're supposed to use z. If they don't, you're supposed to use t. Okay, so I have StatCrunch open here already, and I've typed in all of the data. So you go to stat t one sample, and it's with data because they actually give us the data. Again, it's stat t one sample with data. Then you can select the data, and then we just have to change this to 14 and change this to greater than. So everything looks good. Click Compute. The test statistic is our t. So t here is 1.38. And step 3 is the p-value. The p-value in this problem is 0 0.0999. Step 4 is the test decision. We have to decide whether we reject or fail to reject. We look at alpha to, and the p-value to determine that. So if the p-value is bigger than alpha, we fail to reject. If the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, we reject. In this case, the p-value is bigger than alpha, so we fail to reject h sub 0. And then step 5, we'll do our interpretation. We typically start by mentioning the level of significance. So at the 1%, level of significance, level of significance, and typically if we reject h sub 0 then we have enough evidence to support h1. So when we fail to reject there is not enough evidence. So there is not, there is not sufficient evidence to support H1. I'll just say to claim that. And then H1 we got from the last sentence, right? So the mean HC for this patient is higher than 14. That the mean HC, straight from the last sentence, for this patient is higher than 14. Higher than 14. That's it.